Yo, what's good, y'all? Talking about you today. Today, we're reviewing our own footage and our, making our own uh, analysis of uh, the, the 1v1. Now, you guys might be like, yo, Agamatsu, didn't you? Weren't you the one who was in the 1v1? It doesn't matter. I, I want to make analysis of my own shit and get my thoughts and opinions on basically um, everything that uh, occurred in this 1v1. So, we fought our boy Natoons here. We were both on pretty high ping. Um, as you can see, though, I had no armor and uh, my my exo uh i don't think even i don't even think i had exo it's just the vesperian shits um i had a dual to my build with thunder and shadow as you can see here i'm trying to do the double pump method um because i'm not really engaging with the the rifle there you can see him like throwing like a, a, some shit at me um that was new yeah his his, his, his managers aren't really doing a lot but that spear hurts i'm not gonna lie so yeah uh Pro probably sold by not really getting any equipment either this this build did not have any equipment on it so um yeah that's why i was just taking a shit ton of damage right now um if we look a little deeper into the footage right um we can see that i'm not really landing my shit as much um i'm not gonna lie again that is kind of on me I won't say that it's necessarily shit because I feel like there's definitely some mix-up potential because it's not like a regular sword how it's just like a swing, 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 right? Um, uh, especially with like how flourishing the flourish kick works. Like the timings are different per like you swing. You get what I'm saying, right? Like there is a swing speed, but it feels like the timing is different from the shot uh, than the blunt attack. So I will say that the rifle is pretty cool in that regards, especially if you mix up with the critical, right? Because the M1 and the critical um well at least two of the m1s have the m1 like chain they, they look exactly the same the only difference is how long it takes to shoot the bullet so there's definitely a lot of mix-up potential there um but other than that i'll have to wait and see how people really abuse it um i think i think the bullets proc in chance it it should proc in chance if it doesn't it might be only like the critical that does it but uh if only the critical does it then um it's kind of nerfed but if every single bullet procs enchants and this thing could be kind of cracked because you could just sit back from afar and just wait for like your detonations to proc and shit like that i don't know you guys get what i'm saying right now as for the stats we see here um we have 31 damage um with the max uh max scaling we got eight scaling for uh the weapon scaling we got three weight so it's not really going to be doing a lot if you block uh, or against people who block and then you got seven range. The seven range is, I don't know about that one. I get why though. That means you're probably gonna have to rely on your bullets to land a lot. And then you got the 0 0.75 swing speed, which is decently fast. It's faster than Shattered and Serpent's Edge. So we're gonna have to see. I think it will be a little bit jarring at first to try and like hit somebody with only seven range and that swing speed. But we'll see what occurs, man. We'll see what occurs. Um, I think the Rosen's Peacemaker is a very interesting weapon. And I like that it's different. It's not just uh, gun like Dragoons Part 2 or like, a regular sword part two that's all i'm going to give today for my analysis should be a pretty cool weapon i did say rapier is better and i still think rapier is just a better version just without the bullets but we'll see what happens maybe i'm wrong maybe like there'll be some like different new play style that will like fuck me up and it'll be better than the rapier we'll see that's gonna be all for the video i'll be catching you guys later peace